Richard Dawson was a legendary actor and game show host who gained fame from his role on Hogan's Heroes, as well as being a contestant on Match Game and the third host of Family Feud. But things weren't always smooth sailing for Dawson. In this video, we're taking a look at his first marriage and how it ended badly for him. We'll also look at the highlights of his life and career. So join Facts First as we present Richard Dawson had his own family feud when his wife left him. In 1958, Richard Dawson appeared on a BBC show called A to Z. It was a production that featured entertainers who all had the same first letter in their last name. Dawson, naturally, was on the episode featuring people with a D last name. Also on the panel that day was actress Diana Dors, who was a British blonde bombshell in the vein of Marilyn Monroe. Diana was a noted cabaret performer in the UK and was beginning to find success in the US. As fate would have it, the two had a lot more in common than having a D in their last name. They began dating and got married the next year. Things started out great for the newlyweds as they enjoyed their marriage and had two sons over the next few years. Mark was born in 1960, Gary in 1962. But sadly, Dawson had to go through his own family feud as he and his wife decided to get a divorce in April of 1967. Dawson ended up with full custody of both sons. When talking about the effects that the divorce had on him, Dawson claimed he ended up in a funk for more than a year. In a 1979 interview with the Hartford Sentinel, Dawson admitted to wallowing in self-pity during that time. Things were perhaps made even worse by the fact that Diana met and married another man, actor Alan Lake, within two years. The Sentinel article even pointed out how defensive Dawson was as a person, pointing to the difficult divorce as perhaps the cause of it. They said at that point Dawson still had a lot of photos of his ex-wife all over the walls of his home. It also revealed he still celebrated Diana's birthday each year, so clearly he was not in a great place emotionally after their split. Dawson moves on. Fortunately, Richard was able to get over his funk and find love again. In 1976, he started up his stint as the longtime host of Family Feud. All in all, he led the show for more than 2,300 episodes, but perhaps the most important episode of his life happened in 1981. That day, Gretchen Johnson was one of the contestants. Dawson reportedly fell in love with her from the moment he saw her. After the show was over, he tracked down her info and called her. She agreed to go on a date with him, which went great. Before long, they were living together and got married in 1991. They had a daughter together named Shannon. Despite meeting in the strangest of scenarios, Richard and Gretchen's marriage lasted. They were together until Richard passed away in 2012 of esophageal cancer. And between his two sons from his first marriage and Shannon, Richard and Gretchen were blessed with four grandkids. Reportedly, their blended family got along great, and Richard and Gretchen were able to spend a lot of time with both the kids and grandkids. So clearly, despite the tumult and pain from his first marriage, Richard eventually found marital and family happiness. Richard's Style as a Host There are several reasons why Richard has gone down as one of the most memorable hosts of all time. For starters, he was a skilled presenter and a personable host. He knew how to interact smoothly with all the contestants while keeping the audience engaged. His dynamic personality played perfectly on camera, and he was always a professional. This is in spite of his controversial move of always kissing female contestants. But a lot of what set Richard apart from the other hosts was that he didn't feel the need to be saccharine and try to please everyone. He was certainly pleasant and nice for the most part. He likely wouldn't have lasted long as a host if he hadn't been. In fact, his son Gary mused on his dad's personality in real life as compared to his game show persona. Gary told the LA Times that in many ways, the two were one and the same. Gary claimed Richard was very similar at home as he was on camera, in the sense that he was, quote, always rooting for people. Gary added that Richard wanted contestants to not only do well on the show, but also to feel comfortable and have a lovely time. And that attitude was reflected in Richard's everyday life. And yet, there was more to it than that. David Baber, who authored the book Television Game Show Hosts, Biographies of 32 Stars, talked about Richard's ability to also be a bit quippy and full of snark. Baber was the first to admit Dawson certainly had a side that was friendly and nice. But he said Dawson didn't have a filter that would keep other emotions from coming out. For example, Baber said, Dawson would be very candid if he didn't like a contestant. 
While most hosts would simply find a way to be cordial and compliment them so that other contestants and the audience would feel at ease, Richard didn't take that route. He wouldn't blatantly tell the person on air that he didn't like them. Instead, he'd make it clear by spouting off a snide remark or two at them. This would usually take that contestant down a peg, and Dawson would be fully in control of the show. And audiences ate it up when Dawson would make remarks that were dripping in sarcasm or light condescension. According to Baber, Dawson might ask a contestant if they were on drugs, if they gave a particular answer that was out there. At one point, Dawson joked that a contestant should stop watching game shows and focus more on reading books, the implication being that the contestant was lacking knowledge that could have been gleaned by some more reading and less TV watching. His ego versus his kindness. This back and forth between being nice to people and being a bit snarky was an issue Richard balanced throughout his life. And there are those who say the negative aspects of his personality began to outpace the positive ones as he grew more successful and famous. Reportedly, people who worked with him on Hogan's Heroes had nothing but lovely things to say. Even people who worked with him on the early days of Match Game said similar things. Before Richard got famous, he was notably kind and outgoing. He was also said to be incredibly generous. David Baber said that Richard was known for going out of his way to help people, especially if he really liked them. And fortunately, this trend continued as he became famous. On Family Feud, Richard would often invite staff members from the show onto set and introduce them on air. He enjoyed being able to give them a taste of brief Hollywood fame. And yet his ego apparently began to take over more and more when he became a famous host. Dawson's Attitude on Family Feud the signs of Richard's shift in attitude happened when he was pulling double duty, hosting Family Feud and still participating as a panelist on Match Game. The producer of Match Game, Howard Felsher, noticed that once Richard was on both shows, he basically stopped trying to add humor to his appearances on Match Game. While he had once been an engaging, witty, and hilarious panelist, he pulled his performance way back. Felsher said Richard stopped smiling for the camera, stopped jumping in with funny one-liners and more. And David Baber adds that at the time, Dawson was turning into King Richard on the set of Family Feud. Since it was his show, his ego inflated to the point where he started overruling the decisions of the producers. He became more difficult to work alongside and reportedly began to treat others below him worse and worse. He even went so far as having a producer banned from being on set. Dawson's poor attitude eventually caught up to him. When Family Feud got cancelled in 1985, he wasn't exactly a sought-after TV personality. Word had gotten around he was difficult to work with. He managed to snag a role in the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie The Running Man, but the role was as a smarmy game show, so it was written almost as a caricature of himself. He did well in it, though he admitted that the slimy character was pretty close to how he was in real life. Dawson in later years Later on, Dawson was able to mellow out a lot. This helped ensure that his marriage to Gretchen was a happy one and that he had a great relationship with his children and grandchildren. Sadly, he passed away in 2012 from esophageal cancer after being a longtime smoker. Though, as many have pointed out, he lived his life the way he wanted and had very few regrets. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you a fan of Richard Dawson as Family Feud host? Let us know in the comments section below.